what's going on guys good morning good afternoon good evening hello to everyone so guys with this ortho home defense i actually poured in some boric acid it's really good for killing ants spiders so yeah i get i get them all season all season let's just say today just happened to be the day that they got into my truck we can spray around the door trims and the floors entrance like the area but i think the ants are actually roaming around throughout my truck so even if i spray like the door entrance areas and under the seats of the carpet and all i i don't think i'm gonna actually be able to get to the ants so guys we'll see exactly what happens when we apply this ortho to the truck uh, more than likely i'm gonna have to do a uh, bomb fumigator inside my truck so that way we can really get to them so stay tuned what can we do so i see an ant, ant running up across here and then here and then there's this mat and all i don't actually see an ant right now but it's still going. As you can see, I definitely need to vacuum this thing up. I see an ant right there. Oh, I see a couple of ants. Oh, I see a lot of ants underneath this mat. Yeah, I see. A, uh, there was a bunch of ants underneath the mat. So that goes to confirm. I'm just checking underneath here. Yeah, that goes to confirm that we got an actual, uh, we got an extreme problem going on here. And that just spraying, it's not gonna do anything. You can see right there. Uh, it's definitely up underneath my chair. It's time to go on to uh, option number two because this is not going to do it. Whenever you see ants like that, just scattered around, especially up underneath a seat. It's, uh, your best bet is to fumigate. That's the only best option. Also seen like a spider web up here. So, yeah, man, we, we definitely got an issue going on here. And just spraying this bug spray it's not going to actually help it's actually going to cause the ants to go somewhere else migrate over again we already got uh some bug spray along this section and you can see an ant still crawling so as i stated before the Spraying doesn't always help. It, it really does not always help. I'm still gonna spray it down. It's it's just it's just my process of you know elimination. So I can always you know redetail my truck carpet. I got a steam cleaner, so I can always go and uh, use my steam cleaner and clean the carpet and everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to get up underneath here because we see ants up underneath there. Okay. And just as an FYI, I will not be driving this truck for at least 24 hours. Again, this stuff is not gonna harm the truck. Um, one thing I totally forgot to do is, you wanna do door jams. You definitely do wanna do door jams because that's where bugs, they love to be in your door jams. A lot of guys that live around trees, you guys definitely know what I mean about door jams is when you go to open up your vehicle, you got those spiders that's sitting at your door jam. 
waiting to get in. Mother Nature. That's all it is. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Truck's been soaked with uh, bug spray, so we shouldn't have that many issues back here now. All right, guys. To kind of show you what we're using again. So we're using the fumigator. We're gonna put this fumigator on this two by four that I cut up. And the reason being is because the fumigator, it gets really, really, really hot. So I don't want anything inside to burn or catch on fire. So I always put it on some type of surface that I know can sustain the heat, which this two by four has always been able to do so. Water is used to activate the fumigator. So I want to put this like in the center of the vehicle of my truck. So it's gonna be a, the center armrest. So basically here. All right, so what we're gonna do is take our two by four, place it here. So that's just a fumigator, which you basically fill it up with some water. There is a line right here. It's, it's it might be hard to see guys, but it's there. It's a very, very, very little uh, water that's required. So don't go crazy. You go crazy, you'll end up destroying the whole process. I'm just gonna open it up. This thing here. Oh, there we go. So this is supposed to take off this plastic part too. It didn't do it that time. So now what you don't want to do is mess with this plastic thing here. You don't want to touch that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick this up. Highly recommend just use a glove. Don't get this wet. Don't get this anything, anything here. Just don't get it wet, please. So I got my cup. And again, I want to fill it up to the line here. So I'm going to put this on a surface that's level. And I'm gonna fill it up and I'll be back with you guys. I'm just show you a quick preview of what I'm doing. Just basically filling this up to a line and then I'll be back. So let me get this correct. We got it close as possible. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over here, right there, and right there. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our solution. So we're just gonna slowly put it inside as you guys can see Ray is, Ray is facing you guys and it's it's not upside down because this is this is down where those holes are at that's down that's up okay so just have Ray face you slowly put it in drop it down all right slowly put it in drop it down and give it a couple of minutes and you guys will see it start to activate Absorb the water. Oh, there it goes. So see how it absorbed the water and then it went. As soon as it does that, get out of there. Trust and believe me, that stuff is strong. Lock the doors. All right, I'll come back in uh, in an hour. Actually, I would say come back in two hours because you don't want to come back in an hour and. This stuff is still fumigating uh, inside. There is a possibility that the fumigation can come outside the door crevices. 
just like how bugs can come inside the door crevices. So that's why I say this stuff works because it gets in every nook and cranny, which will likely kill, you know, those bugs that's in your vehicle, ants, spiders, whatever bugs that's got in there. This will do the, do the job. As a uh, quick add on, I did also purchase this hot shot ant and roach spiders spray. And it's got this fresh floral smell. And I sprayed it on the ants that I can see that are, you know, roaming around. This stuff appears to kill ants on contact. As it says, kills on contact. So let me try to get it up underneath here. There we go. Again, I'm going to uh, do a interior cleaning. So I'm not concerned about the floor getting soaked with bug stuff. More so concerned about killing these bugs. I can always take out my uh, steam cleaner, do a nice steam clean of the carpet and interior. You know, at the end of the day, this is my vehicle. This is not the ant's vehicle. So, whatever harsh reality we got to go through to kill these ants, that's just what we're going to have to go through. I'll tell you one thing for sure. The next time a ant, spider, anything tries to get into this truck, it's going to be dead at the front door, right around here. All right, guys, I was doing some spraying along this side, and check this out. So, we're going to have to open up this toolbox and start cleaning. So, let me get my keys, start spraying inside this toolbox, and go from there. These ants... They are just, look at that, it's up underneath there. Man, these things are just looking for a place to uh, create a nest. That's the way we're going. We got spiders up here. Fortunately, everything in here is just basically cleaning stuff. I don't really have much products in here to get damaged. So, just spray this stuff and keep it moving. Make it very uncomfortable for these ants to, uh, to survive. Now that's closed and locked, so May the force be with you guys. I'm feeling really uh, gifting. You know, you know, I want to give these bugs some gifts. You know, um, they've been such you know great roommates these past couple of days. These ants just roaming my vehicle. So uh, yeah, I definitely want to give my roommates uh, a gift. You know, a gift of my uh, you know appreciation of them for bombarding my vehicle and just flooding my vehicle with a whole bunch of ants now that i had to go through such trouble to get rid of them so <laughs> i'm going to give them a gift so this time we're going to actually use a fogger which this fogger says no mess and it says it keeps on killing up to six weeks kills on contact we are going to throw in a extra treat for these bugs um, again, after we're done, what I'm probably going to do is grab my, um, I got a steam cleaner. So what we can do is get some, uh, cleaning solution, spray down our vehicle, chairs, dash, everything, uh, and then use our steam cleaner and just basically just apply it. Just a light, light touch of steam, not too much because it's just leather interior. After we touch the surface inside with a light touch of steam, then we'll, uh, you know, just wipe everything down. 
and um, keep the truck aired out so that way uh, all of the other fumes that we don't really know of can exit the vehicle and we can go from there. Alright, this is Big Bertha. There we go. There we go. I don't see any ants roaming the door trim. That was like very common that I would see ants along here. And here. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned out, but you know, first thing first is bomb the place, fumigate, bomb, then clean. So, I don't see any ants roaming around here, here. I mean, they were like all everywhere, but I don't see them. I don't see any. However, I'm not going to just end on that moment of oh no ants i'm good nope i want to make sure that they're dead let's move this out the way fogger you basically press it down press down the button and well press down the button but press it away because as soon as you press the button down it's just going to start so press the button down away and put it down okay press button down away put down but make sure your distance like you want to have your arm reached out so that way you don't breathe it i'll show you guys real quick <clears throat> come on like i said that stuff's serious Serious. Alright. So. We're going to let that do its job. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, they usually say two to three hours. I always usually give it four. Before reopening the door. And then after that you got to let it air out. That is pretty darn cool. Two of them. Make a wish. Two tiles, baby. Let's see. Can we make a wish? Let's do it real quick. Come on. Come back. Oh, oh, oh. Man, that's the first time I've actually seen one of those things go up in the air. I'm trying to get it. Come on back here so I can make a wish. Come on. Oh, that thing is really like... Oh, it's really up there. All right, we're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. But anyway, guys, um, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. I will provide an update after I'm done. All right, guys, it's now time to clean up. So let's go ahead and open the truck up and clean up. So just to show you guys, I don't have any ants roaming around, nothing like that. I checked inside the toolbox, didn't have any ants roaming around in the toolbox or around the toolbox. I really can't see like super, super in the middle area, but for the most part, don't see any. It's quite possible the ants may have you know, rewrote it into inside like the engine bay somewhere. So what we could do too is if we do see some ants, and I'm gonna bring my bug spray too, but if we do see some ants, um, you know, coming out of some, some certain areas, we'll take our bug spray and spray it. Clean up time. All 
I just finished washing my trucking car. Spent some, spent some time. I spent some time washing my truck and car. Finally got it nice and clean. However, what I've noticed is that when I went back to my truck, again, ants are very active at night. Again, the ants are very active at night. So usually between 10 to 11, you should see how active those ants are. You know, they're out hunting for food and bringing stuff back to the nest. I haven't seen any ants in the truck now since we bombed it, but I definitely do see the ants outside the truck and I just washed it. I just washed it and the ants are just going, ooh, ooh, ooh. they are just, they're, they're, they're all, they're just scattered around right now. What I'm gonna do as a last effort to kill the ants outside. So this is Tero liquid ant bait. So basically with these, you just untwist from here. You just untwist to pop it off and you lay it on a surface. What I commonly do is I spit a little in front of it and lay it down so that way the ants can actually walk and be like, hmm, mm, mm, this is so sweet, so yummy. I'm not dead yet, but hmm, this is delicious. It's not, it's not poison because I'm not dead yet, but mm, it's delicious. So uh, historically, the science behind ants is basically you got your uh, ants that uh, go out and about. You know, they search, roam, try to find a source of food, bring a little something, something back to the nest. Be like, okay, I found something. And here comes the other ants, scavenge, and go to that source. And they take that food source, or whatever they, they have, back to the uh, ant colony. And basically, before it gets to the queen, it's got to get, you know, filtered through. Um, so they filter through some, you know, ant soldiers to the babies. And if the babies don't die, then the rest of the colony starts to eat. And then the queen, she finally eats last. The reason why the queen eats last, because if the queen's dead, colony goes crazy and, and you know, just lost control. Colony it may end up dead. Okay. So it's just like the bees. You know, you take the queen away from the bees and the bees like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Who's in, who's, who's in control? Who's in control? How are we going to live? How are we going to survive? <laughs> so it's important to note that it's going to take probably three to four days until you actually see results. And again, it's because as soon as if you try to, if you try to, if you, if your whole goal is to instantly kill an ant, you're not going to kill a colony. Okay. It takes time to kill the colony. So you have to allow this stuff to work in the favor of the ants, which is mm, eat all day. Mm, next day. Mm. Yeah, we still ain't dead. Give it to the queen, baby. And finally, the fifth day, everybody's dead. And you're happy because I'm about to be happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the hood. It's not going to rain yet. So I'm going to just put this on the hood or, you know, put it somewhere where I see the ants uh, along that trail. And best believe, by the fifth day, I'm going to be singing some blues telling you guys, oh, guys, guess what? Good results here. Aunt Colin is dead. So stay tuned, guys. Peace. Just to show you. See how these ants are now. They've been informed. Telling everybody else. Come, 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 come. See? Yep, that's just what we want. We got one right here too. That's on the top of my hood. Cause it's the trail is this right here. You see? So they're gonna start coming down in numbers. They're gonna start being all down here, then all over there. And I tell you, give it about five days, they'll be dead. We are officially ant free. Had ant stuff here, it's gone. What do we got here? Oh, that's just a, uh, it's just a, one of those nets. Cause it's still got that trace of um, ant bait stuff on the truck. So I just gotta wash it off. So that is one thing that you'll 
have to take note that after you kill an ant, you're still gonna have some gel. And you'll have like flying bugs that will get uh, attracted to it. So you just gotta wash it. But um, yeah, for the most part, she is ant free. I checked inside and then around the vehicle, around the jams, door jams and trims. I don't see any, any ants nothing so now i'm going to take a trip still got some stuff that i gotta clean so like joe but uh we are back in business ladies and gentlemen now what i'm going to do probably next to kind of keep the bugs from coming inside the interior i'm going to probably take some paper towels and I'm going to soak the paper towels in vinegar and cinnamon because ants, they hate the scent of vinegar and they hate the scent of cinnamon. So I feel as though that will be more doable, you know, to put around the trims, the window trims, door trims, back window trims. So that way, you know, I can, if an ant ever comes back, you know, within the cup next couple of days, it can uh, basically ignore them to leave. It's something about vinegar and cinnamon that ants just hate. So I'm gonna probably do that, rub it around the seals and also see if that helps with, uh, cause we get a lot of spiders. So a lot of spiders, they love to be on my vehicle. So see, see if, you know, see how the spiders react to that too. But thus far, I haven't seen any spiders, uh, ants inside my truck because, you know, as I said before, I've always had spider issues. Spiders would get on the truck and then they, you know, find a way inside the vehicle. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It feels like it's a new vehicle. It feels like it's an absolutely new vehicle. So I just got to keep in mind that, you know, every year around when it comes to like my home and my vehicle, always, always put some sort of, uh, you know, stuff down to keep the bugs away because they'll always come back. You know, ants will always come back. Uh, it's definitely been a journey and a learning experience to me. Uh, you never become a master at killing ants because ants are very smart. Just like um, squirrels, ants are very smart. Um, now, I want to keep this in your mind that when you do lay these ant baits out don't touch them don't touch it with your fingers do not touch them use gloves okay use gloves the reason being is because ants they have a scent they they, they can they can trace a scent okay they can trace scents of others so with that in mind if ants follow a scent of another ant they can likely more than likely trace your scent so if you touch that ant bait it may work against you if you touch it with your skin it may work against you with me when i put the ant bait down i had gloves on okay so it's just like with squirrels when you're trying to capture a squirrel and you put your hands and stuff all over the squirrel bait and traps and cage the squirrel's gonna go up nah mm -mm. nah that's human that's human mm -mm. that's trouble so you know, more than likely another ant may have traced a human scent and just like, mm -mm, I remember what happened. My buddy got caught. Yep, a couple of buddies got caught in the colony. Nope. So, you gotta be smart. Ants are very smart, very intelligent. But anyway, guys, on that note, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Peace.